Yes, and that was Tim Adrick. He is a dancehall artist, a producer, and he'll be telling us a bit more about himself, you know, when he started the music journey and what he has been up to and what he has brought us today. Tim Adrick, Hello. welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. You know, I know dancehall artists don't know how to do it. What do I'm the dancer girl, the cool <laughs> guy, you understand? Cool guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, all right. So tell our audience back at home, who is Tim Adric? Yeah, so Tim Adric basically is a dancer uh, mm -hmm. artist, recording and performing, mm -hmm. music producer, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. yeah, man, uh, entrepreneur, mm -hmm. yeah, man, uh, mm -hmm. accountant, mm -hmm. ETC, you understand? Yes. Yeah, so we all around. Yes. Yeah. So how do you find time to balance all these things? Okay, music and music producer, you know, those two can come together, but the accounting? It's a mad rush, but you know, you have to get the knowledge about finance to manage your, your businesses and things, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's, it comes in handy mm -hmm. there. So it's, uh, it's an easy task for me, you know. Ah, yeah. okay, I see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you started off as a producer. So tell us how you ended up being an artist. So uh, I started as an artist, you know, but uh, 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 people didn't understand, mm -hmm. mostly producers them and, you know, the music uh, industry didn't understand what I really wanted, you know. Mm -hmm. So Tim Hardwick is an artist who likes his own space, you know. Mm -hmm. I like my, uh, my own attention, mm -hmm. yeah, which can be divided into other Mm -hmm. uh, people's attentions too, you understand? Mm -hmm. I, I need my own space. Mm -hmm. So I had to create my own uh, production skills, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and uh, my own uh, record label, which can, you know, house me mm -hmm. wholly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. from there, uh, the production really pushed my uh, artist side, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, till now, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. so I think uh, that was part of the history. Yes. Yeah. So um, you've said that, you know, having your own label and doing production has mm -hmm. pushed you as an artist. What other advantages does it have to be a producer on your label and be an artist at the same time? It, it comes with a lot, a bunch, mm -hmm. a handful of advantages, you know. Yeah, because you, you learn with the experience, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's, it's a first time uh, learning experience because when I'm in the studio making the beats, mm -hmm. I'm also thinking about the lyrics, you understand? Mm -hmm. The melodies, you know. So I, I can get to ride on my own beat and my own melody, you know, mm -hmm. more than an artist, another, an, another artist will come, you know, I make yeah. a beat for him and thing, you know, uh, and uh, so it gives me an advantage too, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, people take you seriously mm -hmm. more than other, other artists, you know, yeah. Yeah, so I think it comes with a whole bunch of mm -hmm. advantages, I can't even name all of them. Yes, yeah. okay, yeah. so being a dancehall artist, we don't have so many dancehall artists in Kenya, mm. so what do you think about the Kenyan dancehall industry? What direction should we taking? Should we be taking? Yeah. So right now, uh, okay. My studio is called Clean Shot Records. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. We have a whole we have whole of artists there. You know, mm -hmm. dancehall artists, mm -hmm. upcoming. You know, so uh, they'll be coming out to the public soon. Mm -hmm. So I really don't care about the people who have been in the scene because they haven't. Okay, they have tried, but they haven't done really much. Mm -hmm. Uh, to our expectations mm -hmm. and to your expectations <laughs> yes. also, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, this is a new generation, mm -hmm. new vibe, mm -hmm. you know, new energy and thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, right now, dancehall is safe with clean shot. Mm -hmm. You see the dancehall guard, yes, sir? Yes. Yeah, man, we're ready, you know, we're ready. I uh -huh. have a whole heap of bunch of artists behind, behind my back, you know. Mm -hmm. So I uh, just expect the dancehall scene, you know, to rise up high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. There's someone asking, are you Kenyan? <laughs> Yeah, I'm Kenyan, yeah. I'm Kenyan. Yeah. Yes. Do I sound like yes, a foreigner? Someone, yes, someone <laughs> thinks you are a foreigner, I think, because of the patois. Okay, I'm sorry, I can't speak that, because... <laughs> it's just an accent, uh -huh. but... Yes. Does a dancehall artist have to have that accent? M you know, mine is derived from r uh, writing lyrics, you know. 
writing lyrics in uh, s with with the dancer accent, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's it's driven from there, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think it's 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 important, you know, to have that signature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you mm -hmm. have to have that signature mm -hmm. to be a serious dancer artist. Yes. Yeah. All right. So and uh, what is the reception out there of um, people? When it comes to your music, people love. Okay, they, I I I feel they love my music, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, they love my music, and I I feel grateful, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks to everybody supporting Team Audrey mm -hmm. and making uh, making sure that the dance I got is standing still mm -hmm. you know, and strong. So I think there are uh, the, the 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 reception is cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm good with that for now. Yeah, yeah, we just good. aim. Higher. higher international heights yes yeah, speaking of basic. international heights before we even get to you know and you have worked with um international artists as well yeah before we even get there um who are the people you would like to work with in kenya maybe in the reggae scene dance hall scene the likes of um, red sun the likes of waire who would you like to work with I would like to work with young upcoming artists, mm -hmm. fresh talents, mm -hmm. people uh, who are still, you know, uh, hungry and starving, you know, mm -hmm. for the best, you know. Yeah, man, mm -hmm. I really want to work with young upcoming artists and assist them mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. So yeah. you don't want to work with any of the established artists? And why uh, not? I've not said that. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, you've misquoted me. Uh -huh. I've just said that I, I, I would love, mm -hmm. I would love to work with young upcoming artists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, I feel that uh, they need they need me mm -hmm. more than mm -hmm. I need the other bigger artists. Ah. In yeah. So, uh, but that doesn't close the room. We uh -huh. still can work with any serious dance artist. Uh -huh. The, 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 the so-called dance artists. Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, that are that. I'm not going to ask about the, <laughs> the quotes. I'm just going to let that slide. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, so you've talked about you have a group of artists that you're working with at Clean, uh, clean Shot, clean shot. Uh, Music. Yeah. So if someone wanted to work with you as a producer, how can they get access to you? And do you do production for dancehall and um dancehall music only and if they wanted to join yeah do th does that mean that they have to be dancehall artists only okay so uh first of all mm -hmm. i do dancehall music strictly you know mm -hmm. yeah man because I, I have specialized in dancehall you know eh? yeah but uh if you want to reach out as a dancehall artist mm -hmm. to work with clean shot records you know mm -hmm. you can go to instagram clean shot records mm -hmm. um email clinchart records at gmail.com you know you'll find the right management which we, which will you know guide you mm -hmm. you know uh, on the right thing to do you know yeah, yeah so long as you have a ta you have talent mm -hmm. and you, you know you have the drive discipline we don't we don't want jokers definitely mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah uh -huh. yeah so, so that's where so they can find you yeah yeah so talk to us about your latest project all right, all right. My, my latest project is uh, Witch Badness. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm doing an album called The Art of Badness uh -huh, album. You know? uh -huh. So it's rolling off uh, strategically right now. Mm -hmm. We have One Chap, mm -hmm. which has uh, been played here. We have Motion featuring Celestikan. She's a bad dancer artist, mm -hmm. kind of female. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, the that tune. It hasn't dropped, but it, it will drop anytime, you know, mm -hmm. this week. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it's featuring Stula mm -hmm. and Steamy Head from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Bad bro, you know. Yes. Yeah, so that's my latest project, a uh -huh. mad project, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man, definitely. We can launch it even here some uh -huh. other time yes, when you plan, please, you understand? Please do. This is the home for Kenyan music. Bless up. Yes. Yeah. And also, um, tell us a bit about that album. Why are you calling it Out of Badness? Out of Badness. Uh -huh. You know, as a dancer artist, uh -huh. you know. Nothing, nothing not good, you understand? Yeah, man, we just, we just mm -hmm. have to put out the badness to people, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, so badness doesn't mean, you know, that you're a gangster. Yeah. It doesn't mean that, that, that you're, uh, you know, all this sort of uh, bad things, you mm -hmm. know, associ mm -hmm. associated with the reggae and dance scene. So okay. badness means that you fit, you know, mm -hmm. you fit, you know, mm -hmm. if you take the stage, if you take yeah. the floor, if you yeah. take the scene. Like you're that good. Yeah, You're man. that good that it makes you bad. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> out of badness right. came uh -huh. from that. Mm -hmm. I had uh, I, I had a list of names, you know. Uh, I had a list of names, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, 
but we settled for art of badness mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's history mm -hmm. yeah yeah so how, uh, when will the album be out when will it be complete it's a, it's it's complete you know mm -hmm. just scheduling uh, the, release, the release you know yeah. so okay. you know mm -hmm. we just have you have, we have to be strategic all right now mm -hmm. it's not all about releasing things you know mm -hmm. and wasting your resources you know mm -hmm. just being strategic all a little yes, bit you know? yes yeah. yes you have to have a plan yeah, yeah. exactly so today we are asking our audience what is that one thing or maybe two things that feel illegal that actually aren't I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. You, when you were talking about the art of badness, yeah. you started by saying that it is not bad the way we think about bad. It feels, it already feels illegal for you to say bad, but we we know the bad you're talking about. Yeah. I'll give you another example. When you go to a store, to, yeah. to a supermarket, yeah. you're looking for something. Then you walk out without anything. You know, people are looking at you like, okay, yani umengia tu apa and you're not getting anything. It looks illegal, but it isn't illegal. Window shopping. Yes, window shopping, yeah. yes. So what do you think, in your opinion, that is illegal but it isn't illegal? Something that looks illegal but isn't illegal. You know, people create law, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, th there's no way that law mm -hmm. is w was meant to be like that, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Law is created by people. Mm -hmm. So what you feel is uh, right to you, mm -hmm. I don't go by the legal and illegal. Mm -hmm. I'll do the right thing, you know. Mm -hmm. I just do, 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 do the right thing. Because people say, like, marijuana, you understand? Mm -hmm. It's illegal, you know. Mm -hmm. It's illegal, you know, just by mouth, you know. Yes. But when you touch down the street, you know, people uh -huh. them use marijuana, you know. <laughs> like, basically, you know. So, okay, to me, uh -huh. it's illegal by name. Uh -huh. But on, uh, on, on the uh, ground, yeah, on the, ground, the thing is legal, you understand? Yes. So, I just go by mm -hmm. everything right, you know. Mm -hmm. I can't just uh, say this and this, you know. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So, anything else you need to know about Team Adric? Yeah, As awesome. we finish up. And well, I'll just tell the people, you know, go go and check out Team Adric, you know. We're trying to be to build up the dance and vibes as far as Africa is concerned, you mm -hmm. know. Links, the links them there. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to push the network up high, you mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. So a dancer is still alive. Yeah, yes. man, can dead. Yeah. So uh, go and subscribe to Team Adric everywhere mm -hmm. and check out Clean Shot Records. Yeah, man, big up everyone supporting Team Adric once again yes yeah. so kindly tell them remind them where they can find you as you know an artist and as a producer okay as an artist everywhere these are itunes spotify uh, instagram facebook all this kind of social and made, made and streaming online streaming you know sites you know team adric t-i-m-a-d-r-i-c you understand mm -hmm. yeah and uh to find my management <laughs> mm -hmm. clean shot records at instagram facebook and uh email clean shot records at gmail.com mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. thank you so much for coming through we do appreciate your time yeah man bless and we up. hope to see you some more and we hope to see those dance hall artists that you're talking about we yeah, need to yeah. take dance hall music in kenya to the next level they'll come on board yes yeah yeah